doing today? Today I am going to go over 15 pregnancy symptoms that I experienced in my first trimester of pregnancy. Once again, y'all, this is my experience. This is what happened to me. Every woman is different. Every body is different. Every baby is different, okay? I am not a doctor. I am not a midwife, but I just want to share with you a lot of the things that has been happening to me. This is my personal pregnancy journey, and if you are interested, then please keep watching. So without further ado, I would ask you to subscribe and all that, but I'm gonna ask you at the end. We're just gonna get right into the video. So without further ado, let's get to it. So the first symptom that I realized when I was pregnant that I was getting was being dizzy. Anytime I would get up from sitting down or laying down, I had to take a minute before I stood up because I just was so dizzy, I could have fainted. That was my first symptom. My second symptom is the fact that I am always tired. Fatigue in pregnancy is a real thing, y'all. Like, just put me to sleep. <sighs> Honestly, I hate getting out of bed, especially to put away laundry like this. I also realized that I am an insomniac, only because I'm pregnant, of course. I cannot sleep. All night, I'm tossing and turning because I have so many thoughts in this crazy head of mine. Am I gonna be a good mom? What am I gonna look like when my belly grows? Is my baby gonna cry a lot? Where's the nursery gonna be? Who's going to babysit? Etc. Etc. It keeps me up all night. But honestly, that's not really a bad thing considering the fact that I always have to pee. I'm not talking about just a little bit more frequently. I'm talking about all the time have to pee. You have to up your water intake and that makes you pee more often. But don't forget, this little fetus is pushing on your bladder and yeah, you're gonna have to go a lot. I'm talking about three, four times in the middle of the night. And since I'm talking about what's happening down there, you might want to start early and walk around with these. <laughs> yeah, get some practice now. Because guess what? That thing down there that you love so much that helped make this baby is going to be sweaty and hot all the time. So if you have some wipes on you, run to the bathroom after one of your many pee sessions and give yourself a quick freshen up. Trust me. Thank me later. So not only are you going to realize that you're just a little bit more sweatier down there than normal, but you're also going to realize that due to the extra hormones, you're going to smell a little bit different in your lady parts. And I'm not talking about a bad smell per se, because if it's bad, you need to go see a doctor. But you are going to notice that you smell just a little bit different. If you have a pet, your pet's gonna notice that as well, and they're probably going to be just a little more clingier to you than usual. On top of it, you're going to notice that your nose is going to be prone to having a stronger sense of smell. It just happens, ladies. Since we're talking about what happens down below, let's not forget another symptom called constipation. Yes, it's real. Once you're pregnant, you're going to be constipated. Be expected to not use the bathroom for about two days in a row. And with constipation comes a lot of gas. So if you're like me and you don't like to fart in front of your partner, make sure you run to the bathroom it's about every two minutes or so. Because of this constipation and gas, you're gonna get a lot of bloating, and that makes you feel like you're actually pregnant because your stomach looks a little bit bigger than normal. Now, let's move on to my favorite pregnancy symptoms. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So, I thought this would be my favorite pregnancy symptom, but it's not. You are always hungry. I'm talking about starving hungry. I'm talking about, I always need snacks like apples, cookies, beef patties, granola bars. I'm always, always hungry. Three meals a day is just not enough. I constantly need to snack. And in the first trimester, if snacking and being always hungry isn't enough, 
yeah you get morning sickness now fortunately for me I haven't suffered morning sickness the way that I hear most pregnant women do but I have gotten acid reflux so this baby right here these tums have saved my life <laughs> I love them they calm me down so much every time I would eat I would always get this weird feeling of like my food wanting to get stuck in my throat or come back up I pop two of these and I'm good to go thank you Tums I love you now if you're like most other pregnant women and you don't get acid reflux you will have to deal with morning sickness but I hear the key to surviving morning sickness is to make sure you have a lot of snacks don't ever ever have an empty belly and you won't really feel morning sickness I guess that's what helped me another symptom that I realized that happens to me while being pregnant in my first trimester is so weird I get a weird taste in my mouth so I read that a lot of pregnant women get a taste of copper which is it's kind of like blood right but I don't get that I just get a weird taste and I mean when nothing is in my mouth when I finish eating I get like just like a weird aftertaste uh, it doesn't really taste like anything but I always have to have some type of candy some type of mint some type of flavor in my mouth because that kind of freaks my body out and then that's when that morning sickness does come and it makes me want to have to run to the bathroom Ooh. and speaking about the bathroom I think I have to run and go pee so I'll be right back now the last two symptoms that I want to talk about that I had to deal with in my first trimester of pregnancy is having sore breasts. That is real and it hurts. It hurts when you get a hug. It hurts when you jump. It hurts when you change your bra or take it off. Now the thing with me, I was very fortunate that after seven weeks I didn't really have to deal with sore breasts like that. It kind of just went away I guess my body got used to the hormones but that is something that you need to take into consideration and make sure you have the right bras to make sure your your babies are okay and since we're talking about these babies our boobies over here another change that I've noticed during my first trimester of pregnancy is getting larger areolas it is real my areola went from like dime size to like half a dollar size no joke no lie where's the lie ain't no lie I will show you but I won't <laughs> so it actually freaked me out in the beginning but I realized that is my body preparing for me to breastfeed my baby when it comes and those are 15 pregnancy symptoms that you can expect to experience in your first trimester this is my experience you know everybody is different I am not a doctor I am not a midwife I'm none of that but I'm just here to share my experience with you guys I hope you enjoyed this video you know I'm tired now it took a lot out of me to, to make this video but I wanted to share my experience and thank you for joining me on my pregnancy journey I can't wait to see you in my next video let me know if you guys have any questions Ooh, are there any new moms out there let me know what you guys experienced in your first trimester oh I'm, I'm scared to hear those stories thank you so much for watching give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it it really helps me out subscribe to my channel turn my post notifications on love me love me love me and you can check me out on Instagram as well at least unique oh and check out my family channel because it's me and my husband and when my little baby is born my little baby gonna be on that channel too we're also doing a pregnancy journey but my husband will be participating in those videos where I told him that I was pregnant I got his reaction first on camera and my parents reaction and more videos to come on our channel so make sure you check that out subscribe to that channel turn those post notifications on and once again I love you thank you for the support keep it geek freak chic and sleek but most importantly keep it unique bye lovies